Salon Salon, this is Unity. And this is a Unity moment. Wow, I haven't done a Unity moment like just sitting and thinking about things. I used to do them all the time and I notice I end up mixing my Unity moments with other things. But Unity moments was usually the moments like my thinking or just things that I'm doing at that time. So I guess I just missed the ones that I sat down and just y'all here a unity moment so this unity moment is about being persecuted for the sake of righteousness especially women i've been watching es for years on youtube we have connected she just left a comment. She just liked one of my comments on about six days ago. Is the thing with her? I watched her on YouTube, and I know YouTube we give each we give people a little bit of us. And you know what YouTube people think? Once you give them a little bit, they know everything about you. But um, what I could say about her is interesting because just from. One of the first videos I seen her was in, I think she was in Jamaica, and she was getting cleansed by a Jamaican brother. And I just connected. I'm like, who is this lady? And I would just watch her, and I watched her through, you know, making herbs with Dr. Sabi's products. And before ES even went to Africa, ES had a, you know, a following on YouTube. And... She deleted that and then she started over in Africa. But to me, just watching her was like watching myself. It was like trying to figure what my place is in this society. Trying to figure out what it is. I don't feel comfortable here where I need to be at. And the beautiful part, when I started seeing the sister travel, you know, I know a lot of times like when we in Africa, and just having the, the the European way of thinking, and I, I watched her grow. I watched her grow when she was in Kemet. I watched her grow when she was in, you know, just different places. And I, and one thing I can say, I'm not gonna get into what all that stuff is going on on the internet right now. You know, what her name in it. But one thing I can say is, I don't like when people say that she's not a reader. And she's not a healer. Just because people look at you and say, oh, um, she, um, how can she heal somebody or read somebody when she don't got her shit together? But a person can go to a person that's on a corner homeless. They could be dirty. They could be homeless. And they could give you some words of wisdom. And you will walk away and be like, wow. So just because a person look a certain way and might be going through something in life, don't tell you that they can't give you words of healing, wisdom, or they can't give you no type of healing. So that's one of the things that I've been seeing online that I don't like, like talking about her divinations and her gift. She is a healer. She is a warrior and she's an empath, just like myself. And just because our life might don't look like it should be that we don't have things that we can help people with. And that's bullshit. So that's one of the things that I wanted to say. Like, just, just you know, when you on like social media, and even, let's just go beyond social media. If a person don't know you, they assume who they think you are. And then the thing is, you don't have to connect with everybody. You know, when I was younger, I always thought that we had to, you know, you had to heal the world and da-da-da. And I learned... You do what you can do. Everybody ain't for you. You're not going to connect with everybody. That don't mean you got to treat the people wrong that you don't connect with. But if you end up letting those people that you connect with in your life, you're not going, it's going to be some something that's going to happen. And a lot of times we'll feel it. But we as, we as healers, the first thing we'll say is, okay, we know we're feeling some fucked up shit. But in our minds, the way most healers think, we'd be like, 
but maybe I could help it. Maybe I could change it. Maybe if I do this, they can see, you know, that's just something that we have in us. And then we have to learn a lot of times that we can't heal everybody. Everybody meant for us to heal. Maybe they're meant for somebody else to heal. Or maybe they just meant to heal themselves. Like, we all have to start out. We can give tools. But most of the time, people, even if you're a healer, it's up to people to take those tools and jewels and diamonds and rubies and carper and all that type of stuff. And they have to, it's up to them to heal themselves. So ES is a person that has tools and jewels. Beautiful woman, inside and out. We all have confusion, especially being a black in America, a black in the diaspora. It's so many different black people all over the world. But one thing I can say when it comes to, we could be different, but our traditions it's so similar if you have blacks in Brazil, if you have blacks in Cuba, wherever blacks at, there's a connection that we have naturally. And one thing I could say is my sister ES is a warrior. She's a healer. And a lot of people when you're powerful, a lot of people don't get it. But it's not for everybody to get. Many are called fewer chosen. And a lot of times, people look at people's life. Oh, why she did this and why she said that. Or why a lot of people do this and why they say that. You know what I'm saying? Why a person put themselves in this position. Why a lot of people put themselves in this position. It's crazy because you can read scripture and you'll have somebody like Abraham throw somebody like Hagar out in the wilderness with her son. But he considered a righteous man. So what is righteous? Righteous mean you, you don't make no mistakes. Righteous mean that majority of men can do what they want to do. But if women be that warrior and say, you know what? Fuck this. I want to do this. But we get, we get talk, we get, we get talk like we are whores. You know what I'm saying? But a man, it's interesting because men, if they do certain things, Oh, Papa was Rolling Stone. Oh, he gonna be a player when he get older. You know, but you see a little girl, you be like, sit your fast ass down. You know, it's interesting. It's interesting how society is male chauvinistic. And if women do certain things, oh, she need to be put in her place. Oh, why she did that? But a man can have so many different wives and do certain things and... Most of the time, he don't be married married through religion. He just do it just because. But it's okay. But if a woman do it, oh, she a hoe. She a Jezebel. Oh, she Suge Avery. You know, no woman, no man gonna want her. Because she got a whole bunch of children and not married. You know? I was looking at this show on um, Netflix. I can't think of it. It's some show that's kind of back in the like, 18th centuries. And it just showed how... Men can men can go out there in the world and, and they could be royalty and they can mess with um so many different women before they even get married. But women, oh we 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 you know you can't do that. You have to keep your chastity and keep your prayer and be that version if and if you get spoiled, oh you're a tainted, you gonna they gonna they, a lot of times they'll kill you. Even in Cherokee, I have Cherokee in my blood. And um, I was reading a book about um, some of the histories and the traditions of how if a woman commit adultery, they would chop her nose off. But a man, it wasn't, I don't remember, I can't remember what happened to a man, but just remembering that, like they literally chopped they no, her, her nose off because they didn't want her to look attractive because she committed adultery. But if a man do it, I don't remember exactly what it said. And I could remember seeing pictures of native indigenous women with their nose chopped off never knew what that was why that why you know so it's interesting how women do goddesses do queens do men talk about pussy all the time 
men talk about how much pussy they got or the but the women talk about why she talking that way why she you know why she did this I, I don't know I just don't like that but I just want to do this video just to let my sister ES know that I love her let me just say this a lot of times I remember you know a lot of times when ES do a subject or a video I do something similar not even looking at what she talking about and then I look and I be like, wow, I just said that or did that. So she is a part of my tribe. And with that situation, I feel like she did nothing wrong. That's just me. You know, not saying that because I connect with her. Maybe I am. Maybe from the same the same um, planet or we live next door to each other. You know, <laughs> in another galaxy, a new dimension, another dimension. But one thing I can say about her. She's a warrior. Um, a couple of not too long ago, she said she was gonna leave YouTube and she came back. And even when she said that, I didn't question her and say, Oh, don't my spirit didn't want her to leave because I love watching her. But I didn't question it. I mainly just was like, you know, sister, I'm here, whatever. And then she came back and I was happy. And then all that happened, and I'm like, I mean, when I seen it, it was just out of the blue. I was I was terrified. I was like, my heart sunk. Um but at the end of the day, once I calm down, I realize like she a warrior. <laughs> she got this. Her ancestors got her. Her spiritual guy got her. She got this. She a goddess. She is goddess. So she got this. So yes, I did leave you some messages. But um, inshallah, once everything fall in divine order. I'm going to ship those Witcher Macaulay's. I did ship your other package. I don't know if you received it, but I will ship those Witcher Macaulay's to you, beloved. All right, y'all. Salam, salam.